So my ungrateful subscribers have said, I need to talk more in my videos. Well, how fucking dare they, first of all. And second of all, coming right up. We're gonna play some more of this game. I played it a bit more off camera, obviously, because I don't fucking make YouTube videos. To get better at it so I'm not such an embarrassment. I have not beaten it yet, I'm still bad. But I will attempt to explain the mechanics of the game. We're gonna play standard, normal. Um, I kind of like fighters, so I kind of want to play this right here. We start with two fighters and a gunner. F it. Let's try it. Uh, so these are like buffs you can use uh, across the whole game. This one spawns you noobs. This one hurts everything on the level. I actually quite like Equalizer because it lets you get a strong start and actually keep your upkeep low. So I'm gonna pick that. Uh, to explain the mechanics a little bit, each everyone has some classes. Uh, you can see this little icon down here. These guys are fighters. This guy's a gunner or shooter. And up here, there's like buffs that you get for different uh, stacking different classes. This right here is a mutation screen. This is like a talent tree for your dudes. As I understand it, these are far more important than the composition of your army, but obviously it all matters. This is how many dudes you have, and every room you move to costs food. So there is like an upkeep to this game as well. Every room you clear grants money, and this is your money to counter up here. This is the map, the hamburgers, food level. Obviously you go kill everything in there, you can buy food. Uh, this is like a talent upgrade in your level and this circle icon indicates a shop. I think it's correct to not buy food or not buy anything as far as uh, actual guys early on, except for a healer because I don't like to lose guys. Start off with a plus 50% talent to health. So sometimes you find these like mutations. At the start of every run, you get a random mutation from this room. Seems all right. Down here is like, see how the lock is here? You have to buy one, two, three, four talents before you can buy anything in tier two. You have to buy four talents in tier one. Plus mana is always good for your healers. Also, as a general rule, I think if you are winning, it's good to clear out every level or every room and every level because it's more money per floor and the difficulty of the floors ascends rapidly. And if you're like not ready at a certain point, you're literally going to get murdered. If I make it to the end floors this run, you'll see. Definitely going to take the full heal. I 
The boys, a sharp gust of wind pierces the maze. When the dust settles, they see a black guy in a blue suit, one hand on the wall and another clutching his heart. Damn it, not now. They'll kill me, he pants. Someone after you. We can protect you. I think you're in trouble, dude. We don't have enough of our... We have enough of our own. Just go with those guys. You're one hell of a runner. You didn't bump into anyone, did you? Must be hard to maneuver at that speed. What I've gathered from these events in this game is it's either completely fucking random or you should do the absolute opposite of what it says or what you think makes sense. So, this would be the obvious choice, but, uh, we're gonna send him off the guy's chasing him. The guy tries to run, but immediately falls, clutching at his heart again. A small armed squad appears from around the corner. Damn, I wanted to off the bastard myself. Your work? Yeah, we killed the asshole. Great job! Here, have that gift. <laughs> I got more where that came from. Works wonders against supers. The stranger gives the humans a powerful plasma gun, and the squad leaves. An odd event, but fortunate. See, you just do the dumbest thing possible and you get rewarded with a purple tier gun. So this has got like wow tier levels to things. So like this fighter, it's green quality claws. So it's like the second worst. This guy has boxing gloves. It's gray. It's like literally the worst. Gray, gray. This is a purple gun. So to keep our upkeep low, I'm going to ditch our shitty shooter, buy a noob and give him that. I'll upgrade the shop a little bit. You can only upgrade the shop four times, but it is worth it to get at least the four so you can start getting legendaries. teeth on the room in the corners. So it means it's a teleporter. You can just yeet from one room to the next. Uh, food. We'll buy food. The, the more expensive the food is, the more efficient it is. So you should always buy the expensive one. I think. I don't actually know. I'm still bad at the game. This guy's almost dead. I'm moving him back. These are mutation rooms. Um, I'm not really sure what I'm looking for. I think I want to go a fighter centric run. So, like, this seems fine. I kind of want to gamble because there's one that's like super important for fighters that I want to show you. I got none of it. The thing that generally carries me early through runs is picking up this armor bonus. Things that are low level cannot handle high armor, so like you literally go through entire levels without taking any damage. are good, but I'm not going to buy anything yet because I need to be upgrading talents. If I'm not in danger of death, I think I should be upgrading mutations. I'm saving up for this 30 armor. I guess I could buy a noob and put this on it.
Can't take any more. Don't you dare, one more push. Ah. Damn it, another zombie bites the dust. Zombies aren't known for their durability. What's going on here? Obviously this one. I tried giant mechs, but they only make me spend humans faster. I see, although actually don't. Uh, what's going on here? Isn't it obvious? I was charging the battery, but the zombie part of the machine broke. There's a lab with the T-virus samples on this level. Bring me one and I'll shower you with gifts. You want me to bring you a virus that turns people into bloodthirsty monsters? Do you frighten a poor slave into producing power for you? I'll give you 25 tokens. So what'd you say this lab was? Let's go. It's marked on the map. All the way up there, bro. Really? Okay. Again, not buying anything. Because I'm not dying. And I need 50 gold. And once I cross the armor threshold, I will be in absolutely no chance of dying. So, like, this, I have 28 armor right now, these guys do 23 damage. They literally do 1 damage, so you can imagine getting 30 more armor is going to be pretty good. Good on food. Not going. The way armor works is literally just addition and subtraction. Like if I do 90 damage and I have one armor, it'll take 89 damage. Shit, I quit reading it. Uh, what reward do you prefer? 25 tokens or secret knowledge? Um, he's an egghead class, as you can see right here. I don't have any eggheads in my party right now, although I might have one later. I'm going to take the money just to snowball the early game a bit more. So I've only got three dudes. I actually really don't like that. I've only got three dudes for the boss. That's bad. But, I don't have a choice. Like a run might literally end right here just because of this guy. We're good. Creates three new three noobs or resurrects all humans. Is that better than full heal? This basically is wipe protection. I don't think I'm gonna wipe. I'm skipping it. Quantum cloning machine. Place a token to make a clone. Place two tokens to make two clones with a 50% chance of the machine malfunctioning. The individuals to be cloned will be chosen randomly. Let's try to get two clones. Wow, I literally just got two. <coughs> I actually just duped my party. That's pretty cool. So I got double healer. I don't actually want double healer. This guy's almost dead, so we're sending him down. I have a hundred gold. I'm gonna spend it. Armor. Um reroll. Hoping for a fighter. Yeah, we got a 2-2. Two -two. We're by two dudes. I'm gonna have a 2-2 two -two man and a claw man. Bank the rest of my money and save up for 80 armor. We'll see how run the uh, room goes. I may use equalizer on this level. Thirty-eight 
30 damage versus 46 armor. Yeah, okay, I'm I'm okay. Skip. We're gonna upgrade the shop though. Alright, this is the single most important talent that I was looking for. I really want to make a build based on healers, fighters, and tanks. Where the fighters stay alive. And stack this shit up. So, that is the first piece of their Exodia. Question is this good enough for the boss? Probably. Also, shops go away if you don't buy anything in there. You can't go back there later. our full heals and we're going to take the uh, triggers automatically and loss deja vu. Put on the shop. I really need a healer again. I might actually pick up a tank or something. So this is one punch man. I have a lot of money. It's not worth it. I I actually think this is more important. start getting more see the way i think this works is the longer you go without spending money on the shop the better off you actually are so i think next level because i've started to die here i'm gonna actually use the equalizer and hope for a really easy clear combined with um the armor upgrade i just got just bank a bunch of money and upgrade the shop fully and then start really ramping up on the quality of my dudes Workers, the humans enter a new room, only to find out that it isn't finished yet. The ceiling, walls, floor dissolve into the black abyss. At its edge, a robot works tirelessly, adding all kinds of new details to the room, making some hot goo. Five more stand beside him, releasing wisps of steam. So, shall we liberate M142, maybe? I feel sorry for the lad, he's working so hard. He'll grind his gears to dust. And who's gonna work, huh? Splat doesn't care about us as long as the work gets done. If he stops, he'll update our firmware in a sec and you'll drool oil like a Tamagotchi. Are you kidding? 
We've been slacking off for three days. Spot doesn't care. Honestly, I have no idea what he's doing. Cloning, breeding, moving things back and forth. It's all dumb if you ask me. Back away quietly, or do we confront them? What's this? Who levels walls like that? Why does the floor curve? Get over here. I'll curve your... Calm down, chief. Fix it all. Just give us a couple days. I'll try to think of something, but you know how it goes. I'll have to grease a couple palms too. 20 tokens, and I'll let it slide. Try to get you a two-day extension on the deadline. You're twisting our sweet... Your I give up. You're twisting our springs, chief. But what can we do? Time to chip in together, folks. Humans emerge from the unfinished room with 20 tokens and a nice sense of accomplishment. Makes total sense. I'm just gonna want to use this. See whether or not it was smart in a minute. Oh, don't buy any of these. I'm gonna wait. I'll upgrade the shop once. Shop is now max level. No longer be upgraded. I think early, that's good to get done. Yeah, so like they do 47 damage. I have 90 armor, so get wrecked. See what I mean? Armor upgrade is busted. I don't care about fencers, I don't care about tricksters. All you need is get 30 attack with tokens less than or equal to 10. I think tokens means dudes. I'm actually not sure. Anyway, I'm not using that. Alright. Ben, if you're watching, this one is just for you. This shit with the attack, uh, every attack you get more damage, this shit is what I was looking for. Now we just need tanks to keep them alive, and we're all set. We stack fighters. I don't need food. I need this eventually. Uh, might as well take it. I can get up. Uh, I don't need a lot, actually. I do need some food. Go south. Guy seems to punish having very few people. I'm not worried, you're worried. Okay, my healer fucking oh, is that a man? So now we buy 100 armor and we're good. We're set. I have to 
way too much food. Uh, I don't. I still don't think I want anything yet. We'll try another level using Equalizer, and then we'll maybe start buying dudes. These aren't worth the ditching one of these two for. Hologram. A smiling holographic pixelated face appears in front of the humans. I have a deal for you. I'll steal some of your Zephyr for life and give you 30 tokens in exchange. Deal? Sounds like an ordinary office job. Deal. Nah, we have just enough Zeth for life to left to teeter on the edge of the sacrificial pit without jumping. You know, uh, it sounds like an office job. I'm literally in a shop. I'll fucking do whatever you want. Sucks out part of the human souls and leaves me 30 tokens. Food consumption increased by 10%. Don't judge your humans for trying to stuff the inner void with munchies. Okay. Well. Interesting. We're gonna pick up another healer. Just to be safe. Also, up here. You get a new ability. If you stack more dudes, there's a maximum. Um, max is obviously five for healers, five for fighters. There's also a minimum of three for fighters. What they get is this is a great out ability right here called Linked. Basically, it splits the damage that they receive among everyone they link to. So you're supposed to stack a bunch of a specific class. But again, I'm trying to keep upkeep low, so I'm use Equalizer. So I have 118 armor, 169 damage. So these guys might actually hurt. I may have to bulk up a bit more. These guys reflect damage. Come on, 2 2 man, it's all on you, buddy. I'm fucking dead. Holy shit, he lived. <laughs> fencer, fencer, summon zombie, don't care. Remove negative stats, that sounds good. I'm actually in trouble, I need a shop. <laughs> this level is actually hard, I've been too greedy with uh, keeping up, upkeep low. It's hard to resist buying this because it's so efficient, especially because I have to worry about food more, so I'm gonna buy it. Take directly to the shop because I'm in trouble. One sixty nine armor. Attack, 30 damage per hit. He's dead in one hit. Shit. I just gotta survive this this level. <laughs> I 
How embarrassing is it going to be to use my freaking res this early? Wow. Embarrassing. Oh my god, you're fucking kidding me. <laughs> I'll see you guys in 10 minutes, holy shit. Is there an actual rage mechanic? There is. Oh, that's scary. I didn't know about that. We left! <laughs> With no money. Um, I just replenish at least my shooters and a healer. I'm gonna reroll and hope for some cheap, cheap something. Fighters, please, God. We're gonna take a chainsaw, man. I don't have those of them. Oh, wait, I can sell shit. Okay. One melee. That's all we need. Okay. That was dumb. I still might die. in this game. They're absolutely ridiculous. Willy Skywalker. Nick Bond. They're like almost every single one is a reference to something, even if I don't get it. Lesson in greed. God. Uh, I want to go fighters and tanks. It's getting time where I need to buy shit. First of all, I need two healers no matter what. Let's do that. Also, to activate these bo bonuses, you actually have to have different guys. You can't have like a bunch of the same one. So you have to kind of shop around for different rarities. So there's two fighters.
because I'm low on dudes, I'm gonna buy that. Boss. Thank God my armor is carrying me now, at least for this. I don't know why I was getting wrecked like that. Close, literally almost died. There's a chest ahead, a mimic obviously, or not. Um, in the spirit of this game, we're gonna do the dumb thing. Let Dorothy, who's Dorothy? Dorothy is my fighter that I just bought. I'm literally in a shop if she dies, whatever. Yep, it's a mimic, all right. Dorothy loses her head way too fast, but the humans have their revenge. The mimic is hard to cook, especially the nails, but you manage to get 50 food from it. Okay. And I get my fighter back, so whatever. So I have no money, but I need... Uh, Need more dudes. Need some coherence. Um, I need a fighter. Yes, exactly what I want. Okay, good. So now we have the linked ability, which means we share damage, which is great. One Punch Man. Let's get him. Yeah, baby. Albert McGregor. Next thing I'll be looking for is a legendary healer. Because my healers suck. Or rather, they don't seem to be keeping everyone alive. I honestly don't know how this game doesn't get copyright striked from like the, like literal JoJo references and stuff, like it's crazy. That's not One Punch Man, like, it's extremely obvious. <laughs> what is and is not an intellectual property? I don't know.
cooldowns reduced. Um, I think I like that. Also, I think I'm about to ditch my shooters. They seem so useless compared to everything else. looking for a healer. I'm looking for several healers right now. I already have this. I might as well just put this on you. I might as well get another fighter to level up my link ability. I could get another sec one punch man, but he's like slowly losing health, so like his days are numbered. Ditching the gunners at the first opportunity, they seem so shitty. This is the only reason to keep them around. It's great for the fighters, but like the fighters are getting wrecked, so I need to get some tanks in here. Valiant Travelers, please rid me of these tokens at once! Ha! That's an obvious trap, she's just a decoy for a monster. Yay, free tokens! Uh, who am I kidding? Yay, free tokens. Okay, good. Eat yourselves, yourself, you taste terrible. I need to lure father's humans in. Post my leaflets around the dungeon and I will reward you. Sure, we'll post around leaflets for a human-eating monster. On it already. It's gonna cost me food, though. Is that actually gonna be worth my time? Don't actually think I want to do this. Okay, we're just standing in the back healing themselves. That's really useful, guys. So.
Well, of misfortune, the humans come across a holographic smiling skeleton with most of its neon skin peeling off. It stands next to a wheel that looks like a giant dartboard. Spin the wheel, spin the wheel, spin the wheel. The hologram is quite glitchy. Spin the wheel, of course. And you hit a prize wedge. You want a mutation, a useful explosive one. From now on, your humans will blow up when they die. Nice. 90 damage to us. Terrible. Do we incorporate tanks now into shooters? Hmm. We'll just give our dudes more health. I'm just giving them more health, man. Can't beat that. Ninety damage. I have hundred armor. Get wrecked. I would hope that my healers would like catch up on the damage here on levels like this. Zoom. Weird thing about healers is they're actually better the more you have. So the heal levels up to eighty heals. Fuck it, shooters, no, get out of here. Humans die, no, we're not dying. Okay, that's not bad. Ah, shit. I'm rerolling. Healing, healers grant attack speed. Holy shit, a moly. There we go. Zambies. Holy shit, this guy is going nuts. Look at him. Yeah, food's gone. Oh. What are you doing? Not a fan of this healer AI, where they just like take one damage so they immediately heal the guy next to them. They need to be up here healing lowest priority health targets. That's some AI setting. healers now. We're current, we have the legendary, we have the rare, we have the epic. Oh, so we just need the green healer to be maxed out on the healer abilities. The fighters, we have legendary, blue, green, purple. Literally just need the shittiest one.
or we can get another one punch man. Dude, this level is easy. Literally so carried by the armor. It's like all zombie level. I'm gonna guess these are Zambies. Prophet, Nick, what is the goal of our journey, I wonder? Connor, movement is life. Nick, we could literally die in the next room. Is no one bothered to by this? Connor, ugh, don't be a spoil sport. This place is boring. What else is there to do but kill monsters? Suddenly, an old man clad in rags appears out of a dark corner. He's carrying a staff made from an old cable duct. Kneel before the faceless and your path to the breeding tube shall open. I don't know what this breeding tube is, but I like the sound of it. I'm in. Has everyone here but me lost their minds? We're not kneeling before some weird unknown being. Who are you anyway? I am a prophet of the faceless. But seriously, people, just kneel and we'll go to the breeding tube. That place is so much fun, but they won't let me in by myself. Uh, collectively kneel with the power of this guy. 33 seconds after the humans kneel, the prophet vanishes into thin air, leaving behind only a talisman. Judging by the Engraved acid wounds. It gives all tricksters 15% bonus attack. Kind of disappointing that you didn't get to see the breeding tube, though. Kind of disappointing that it's fucking tricksters. Who cares about tricksters? This is a fighter run. Punch. I wonder if stacking one punch man is a good idea. Just getting a bunch of them. Return 40% damage back. Considering they don't have that much health, I don't, is that any good? I'm gonna say no. I need to add another class to this party now. I don't like 
like any of those. That sucks. I hate all of these. If I'm adding another class, it's going to be a ranged class, not more melee. food. Oh, four bosses in one room. Cool. I am what, these guys explode and turn into zombies, I think? Yes. buy more shooters to get this attack speed buff up higher. So currently I don't have any attack speed buff. This is a legendary shooter. Let's go for it. So now we have 10%. Now we have 30%. What healer am I missing? I'm missing a green healer. Alright, so I'm gonna get five healers, I'm gonna get five shooters, and then I'm gonna have three teams of five each. That's the goal. There we go. Oh, healers are good. Shooters were missing. Blue and green. Ooh. Green gun, there we go. All right, we're in business, boys. So, we've got max out level healers, max out level fighters, and shooters. We've got super attack speed, bunch of mutations on our fighters, and a hella attack speed aura to stack the fury faster. Now we just gotta keep them alive and get some more mutations. Army's getting a bit big, so we need to spend more money on food. Alright, that attack speed buff, you can already notice it, that's actually wild. Look at this fucking dude! 390 already! Alright. Cool. I don't have money to add another class, let's just try to save up for mutations now.
hate my fucking healer so much. They're just in the back healing the guys that are already full health. It's so annoying. Sixty percent evasion? Are you kidding me? That is stupid. Turns out nobody can stand before a bunch of fucking Jonathan Joe stars punching the shit out of everything. I'm keeping my thirty percent heal. Burnt car. The humans find a burnt car. It blends with the surroundings more or less, but still draws the eye somehow. Come closer and inspect the car. A burnt skeleton of a large carnivore sits inside, most likely a bear. The fun, intricate story must be behind all this. Unfortunately, we'll never know. It's not like we can question a dead bear. Okay, that's fucking weird. <laughs> I think if I see more One Punch Man, I'm, you know, I might actually just get like 30 more fighters, to be honest. I don't see anything wrong with that strategy. Save me for that. These guys are a bit sturdier. I want to buy this, but I'm, I'm waiting. I've got it. This seems so clutch. Apply quote healing to enemies, stealing the magic damage through. Oh, that's something. Is this suiciding my run? Dude, I don't know. That's really tempting because I'm actually about to buy this, which might make my healers obsolete. <laughs> 300% of healing strength. Let's see. 
300% of 80 is 240. You can do that. It doesn't seem that good. I hate buying all this food. shit. At least the levels seem very doable right now. We have a little more time. My bladder was actually about to explode. Apologies. Let's kill this bitch. Cerberus. Oh, that's bad. It's fine. That hurts. Oh, dude, look at that heal. That's so busted. It's an obedient beak. Fuck a beak, who cares? Get out of here. Melon or watermelon? Watermelon. Seriously? But melons are so much better. Oh well, I'll take these 10 tokens. Dude, I am 20 tokens from this busted ass trait right here. After I buy this trait, I am bulking up on dudes, because the last level is 12. I've learned that. I still have not beaten this game, but I know the last level is 12. Bro? 
eat my fucking dudes? Like, actually fucking eat them, really? Died. What died? Who died? Fucker. Alright, I'm doing this. That was the investment. I'll find another shop and bulk up. I fucking hate these guys. I literally eat just eating my dudes. That's actually so bad. Devours and digests nearest enemy. 100 mana, and they have 210 mana. That's fucked up. I just lost another one. Oh no, I did. Nobody died. Alright. The fighters receive 30 armor. Ooh. What? Fuck yeah. Armor, my dudes. Yeah. Let's go. Sixty-nine damage. Fucking one hundred and fifty armor. Come at me, bro. Buy that. Go to this shop. This shop. Teleporting over here. Going north. Whoa, we're supposed to fly on this thing? So this is a terrible idea. On the contrary, it's a brilliant idea. And I'll pay you too. And here I thought we'd be the ones who had to pay. Awesome. Mad Mike, a friend of mine, uses Canada Fly. We wanted to try and go past the edge of the maze. But he's not returning our signals. If you follow him and bring him back, I'll pay you. Let's just find him by walking around the maze with our feet on the ground. Yeah, I'll... Oh. Oh, he's right over there, dude. Oh, uh, seems like Mike failed to escape. Let's return the helm to his friends. Not that it helped at all. Spent a bunch of food. This better be worth it. We brought you Mad Mike's helm. I think you devised things work. Oh, poor Mike. But thanks for the helm. It'll help my new test subjects. Which reward would you prefer? 35 tokens or a secret throwing technique? Uh, tokens. Obviously, I don't have any throwers. This gives me anxiety because I can literally just one shot somebody. The thing is, it doesn't say how much damage it does. They just chew. God knows how long. Did your guy die? Yes, that guy died. The other guy didn't die. Like, okay. Thanks for the rush out. So I feel like I should add on some more dudes right now. Um, mages do DPS, cultists summon shit. Just shoot 
Chris legendary ability. It's just trick shots. It's boring. Like eggheads do more buffs. I think I think more buffs is good. So I'm gonna go for some eggheads. Approaching the end, and I feel like we need to get there. So I'll buy that and use it later. Stuns all enemies for three seconds. And he spams it every six seconds. Uh, three times. Okay. Bees to do 200 damage. Okay, there we go. Oh my god, the stun is murderous. What the fuck? Everything's fine. Don't need either of those seals. A giant spider, run! Kill it with fire. Duh. A torn off leg is still twitching, blurred, but the humans are filled with courage. Oh, okay, what? Spider. All humans receive 20% to speed. Four eggheads. Looking for one more egghead. Unique egghead, I should say. That's it. Graph gun. Uh, so they build a buff tower. Basically buffs my dudes. Oh, I can get one more even. Soft legendary. We got 21 dudes, so from here, I think we just buy food and hopefully win. We cannot run out of food or we're fucked. We will die very quickly. Music fucking slaps.
Do I have anyone with chance based abilities? Like, literally don't. Oh, wait, hold on. One punch man. A 5% chance to do 10% damage. Is this additive? So I think now, since fighters are the majority of this composition's damage, I will just buy fighters leading up to the end. So at level 12, I'm going to stack the shit out of fighters. Because buff tower guys, like, they're, they give the buff tower, that's what's useful. The more fighters I have, the more chance they'll survive long enough to get their stacks insanely high. If I see a One Punch Man, I'll buy him now. What the fuck is that? This guy attacks six times a second. What the fuck? One Punch? attack speed is pretty well worth it. I, I think I should save for that. What? Just an enemy near and do the same over time. 500 damage. Over 0 seconds. 60 mana. 500 damage. fighters. Although that was a pretty convincing win. Teleport? Nah. Tester? Nah. We're gonna farm more money over here. food. Okay, now all the money will be saved for that final attack speed buff, and I think, I think this is the team. I have no idea what the last boss is. Astrologers proclaim the week of, huh? What week? Snipers! Shooter growth plus one. Um, how about no? Get in the fucking pit. Piece of shit. I want another one punch, man. I got him. Okay, all right. <laughs> Sorry, can't help myself. Now we save. I think we beeline directly for the boss. We're unstoppable right now. If we see the boss, we just go. Holy shit, that hurt. I 
hopefully we don't need food. I don't want to buy any more food. Three bosses. Okay. heal is absolutely insane. the boss. Alright. Here we go. Is this the most value for Buck? 100 credits. We could potentially buy three more One Punch Men or give everybody 40% attack speed. Or give everyone 200% health. Literally couldn't be better. This is it. Whoa, you completed my maze, but your team doesn't look strong enough for my purposes. I need high tier humans with awe inspiring mutations. You will have to eliminate nothing personal. Okay, hold on, hold on. Four claws. They throw me, slam me backwards, and they get more damage. Okay. 66k health. Jesus. Got another claw. Summons more claws. Squash. 60% evasion, okay. What the fuck am I misses? Do I get a attack stacks on when I miss? Apparently, yeah. Dude, get fucking joked on. Get out of here. <laughs> Absolutely trashed this boss. Holy shit. It's like Dark Souls. Thank you, Dark Souls. I admit you are incomplete weaklings. I'll even assume my true form. Prepare to be recycled. Same amount of health. Good you, mana. You want to read my abilities? Can't. What exactly we're hoping to see? Win. You can't win. Numbers and letters won't help you now. Just accept your death. 80% evasion. <laughs> Fucking 80% ability resist. Did I keep my DPS stacks? I did. Okay, this guy's fucked. I can't, literally cannot lose. There's no way. What's he gonna do? Attack my random shooters? Like, bro, come on. We have some ads.
Okay, that AoE hurts a little bit. Wait, what are my dudes attack at? I was 418. Where's my boxer? Yeah, 900. <laughs> Attacking five times a second. Okay. Yeah, nice ads, bro. Evasion, huh? Dumped. Nice. But why are you surprised? Lol, you didn't think you destroyed me really, did you? This was all playoff and you finally beaten it. Now King of the Hill awaits. Now arrange your humans one last time. You must fight despots and their champions from other realities. Don't let me down. What? Excuse me? Uh, I'm gonna give everyone more mana. I have no idea what is happening. Or what happens next. Press the button. Oh, what? What? Excuse me? What? Is this a fucking leaderboard? Green horn? Like, oh, what the fucking fuck? Okay, okay. Am I about to fight another player who won also in PvP? <laughs> Excuse me? Fucking hold, hold up. What? Okay, he's got five tanks. Oh no, he's got five fighters. He's got five shooters, a bunch of healers, but he doesn't have the buff towers, so he's- I've got buff towers, he's got tanks. Okay, this is hilarious. <laughs> what is this green shit on? I don't know. I was going for endurance, not PvP. What is- all my dudes are getting shit on. Oh my god. Taunt. Oh, who's getting shit on now, boy? Get out of here. <laughs> Look at those healers fucking losing. Uh, or shritty Shrek. Do I just keep fighting people? Oh, dude, this is cool. <laughs> What? Okay. Oh man. Okay, we got five tanks again. Throwers. I don't know what throwers do. Gunners. Ah, uh, shitload of gunners. Okay. All right. The tanks are actually crazy in PvP. I am actually super dead. Wow. That was not even close. Okay, so I go down. Huh? He's got noobs? Dude, I don't even know what this guy's fucking army is. I think cultists are really good in PvP, there's some of these tentacle thingies. Oh my god, my fighters are just getting... ...stuck in a corner. Cool. So, like, you're supposed to make a team that can win the game, first of all, but then you're supposed to make a team that can also do good in PvP? Interesting. Uh... Trickster fighters? Yeah, I'm probably dead. Oh, 
that's actually quite close. Okay, how many of these do I fight? Okay, so apparently the common strat is make, like, literally max out on dudes at the end of the game. I was close to right. What the fuck is happening? I think I die very badly. Congratulations, you ranked 43rd in a group of nine, in group 9 of Green Orb. Please note there's a chance rival teams will overtake you before the season's over. Oh! Alright. So... I unlocked hard mode. Oh, well, that was fun. Uh, there you go. I beat the game somehow. Uh, thanks for watching. I'm going to bed. Peace out.